previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. Recognize him, he's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. This is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Oh, well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did. All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports no argument from me baddest man on the planet ufc heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship the world introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight he stands five feet eight inches tall weighing in at 175 pounds fighting out of sioux falls south dakota usa introducing the challenger the destroyer And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion Bruce, the Dragon Lee! UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway.
right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited we are for this matchup. Seems to be a slight advantage on one side, but maybe This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every Whoa! time he goes to punch. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. Oh, big elbow. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, straight right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? I mean, he's cutting it down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And he caught the kick. Three minutes to go here, round one. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Slips the punch. Nice head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets touched by that kick there, lunges forward with a left there. Oh, nice check on the right kick off right there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, single collar tie here. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Just missed with the left there. He loaded up there on that high kick. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Lee's got the tie clinched, let's see what he can do with it. out 15 seconds Ooh, big shot land back and forth we go over and over he's landed these big body kicks 
Horn sound for the end of round one. All right, man, take a seat. Come on, let's get your act together. I know you're better than this, okay? We're not going to let this guy outwork us. You're going to go out this round, and you're going to outwork us. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Place kick there by Lee. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Big power punch land. Now he gets back in range. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Beautiful kick. So specifically that right side has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tuck to the ribs. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Back to the clinch. there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big kick. Right hand upstairs! there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. Let's get something. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Massive head kick. Left hook, right hand. Oh, straight right. Right under the elbow by the And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, 
That's such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Nice spinning attack to the body, lands for him. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Had him hurt, almost finished. Look at him on the stool. He's still wobbling. This round, want you to put the pressure on him. Get right in his face. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, that's a nice strike. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That knee might have landed there. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time you guys are in close. Oh, nice series of knees by him there. He throws those pretty quickly, champ. They're fast, they're quick. He's driving them into the body, into the head. He's really good with them. That knee might have landed there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Right hook to the head block. Right hand on point. Single collar tie now. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. He's got him. Oh, that's a good DC. Massive. Massive. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter Take the judges out of it. Got the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him pulling that kick. Lands with the right hand. Nice strike. Ooh. Ooh, that's the score. How's his opponent 
still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. 45 seconds remain in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Head kick. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice one, two there. Fifteen seconds to go. Whoa! Gets up again here. one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the destroyer. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champion.